Hello everyone. I, I just thought you may be interested in this. Um, several years ago, I joined a group of ladies uh, who make, well they do charity knitting, and it's called the Baby Bear Project. And this project is uh, to actually knit a matinee set for babies in South Africa. Uh, right. These babies are born to uh, poor ladies who've got hardly anything. Um, why it started up in the first place, uh, babies used to be sent out of the hospitals wrapped in newspaper. That's how poor they were. And this project got off the ground by a group of volunteers. It's been running quite a while now. And um, I got involved. I joined the group several years ago, <coughs> as I say. Um, I had to stop... Uh, not too long ago, but um, my circumstances changed. I couldn't get there. It coincided with a beading group I was doing. But I'm still doing uh, crocheting and knitting when I can. Now, the group itself has a standard pattern, which works for the babies, because uh, the jumpers, the hat, it grows with them. Uh, because of the design of the pattern. Very basic, but it suits. Um, where they live in South Africa, very hot in the day, freezing weather at night. So these babies could freeze. And these contributions really do help. So the Baby Bear Project consists of a pair of mittens. So I say they grow with the babies because they're very... It's a very easy knitting pattern. Everything is done in uh, garter stitch, uh, with the odd exception, which I've done here in stocking stitch. Those are the little booties. It's called the Baby Bear Project because uh, we send off a little knitted teddy for each baby. There's a little hat. Very easy to do, as I say, garter stitch, every row in its stitch. The jumper itself just has a slash neck for ease of getting over the head and it grows with baby. It's quite big as you can see. Uh, the group used to meet, meet weekly before the lockdown. And uh, they also, with their um, subscriptions, they used to buy vests and uh, nappies, that sort of thing, in addition to the knitted items. And with each set, uh, a little crochet blanket, about a metre square. And they can be done in any colour. And all done in double knit. That's one I did. And I've got a pink set, just a plain pink set ready to go as well. I think I might have to do a teddy for that one. And I did a lilac. Just a lilac set. Oh, with some lemon. Because I've got lemon and lilac left overs. So it's a project um, that was very dear to my heart because it's easy for us knitters to do, but it's hard for them to have the materials, the time, the effort to put in, as well as looking after baby. So 
but you don't have to be a special knitter to be able to do this. The pattern is very easy to follow. And I'm just ready to uh, pass these off to the lady that runs the group, Ruth. Just thought you might find that a little bit of interest. Um, anyone interested in joining in who has free time and loves to knit um, would be uh, lovely. But uh, I'm not doing this video just to um, ask you to join in with it. It's just to explain what we do for the underprivileged in South Africa. And uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing those. And thanks for looking in, ladies. Bye for now. Bye.